Hi, my name is Jules, also known as Weight Loss Jules on Instagram. In August 2012, I weighed 176 pounds, which was nearly 50 pounds over what was considered a healthy weight for my height. Today I weigh approximately 128 pounds, the lowest I've been in nearly a decade. My hope is to inspire women and men everywhere and let them know that they can have the body they've always wanted. It just takes the right information, a solid purpose, motivation, and dedication. Be sure to subscribe to my channel to receive weight loss tips, motivation, recipes, and more. Hi everyone, it's Jules. So I've been noticing something in my body recently, and this is something that might happen for you. Whenever you start to lose weight, you'll start becoming more aware of how your body reacts to things. One thing that I've had really since day one is dry skin. Like I get really dry hands and I get dry feet. Even with the amount of water that I've been drinking, which right now is half of my body weight in ounces, and right now for me that's 64 ounces since I weigh 128 pounds, this didn't really make sense to me because of the amount of water I'm drinking. I should be high hydrated and dry skin is one of the signs that you're not hydrated. So I decided to look into my uncle's book again uh, and I found this chapter while kind of like trying to find an answer to this uh, called Enemy Substances. Again, his book is The Power of Your Metabolism by Frank Suarez. In that chapter, he talks about various substances and foods and things like that that will slow down your metabolism. Looking at this chapter, he mentions something about fluoride and one of the places that fluoride can be is in public water systems. I don't drink tap water, but I run it through a Brita filter, which I don't think actually removes the fluoride. At least I don't remember any particular guarantee that Brita removes fluoride from water. I also checked with my local water department or whatever, and I found out that it has about 0.53 milligrams per liter. It's not a huge amount. Either way, because I do drink a lot of water and because I use water in everything, including taking a shower, and yes, your skin can absorb these things. It's the largest organ that you have, I was like, well, maybe that's why I'm not getting hydrated. Now, I'm not about to go buy a water filter or something for my shower head, but I can change the water that I'm drinking and I can go over to bottled water that doesn't have fluoride. And there's a few brands that I know of that don't have it. I actually went online and Googled it. I'm gonna have to do it again because I don't remember them off the top of my head. There's a huge list of bottled water that does not have fluoride in it. I didn't even know there were this many companies that make bottled water. Some of these names are really strange. But anyways, I'll name some of the more common ones, at least I know of in the US. Uh, Albertsons brand, for example, doesn't have it. Aqua Pure, Aqua Fresca, Arbor Springs Drinking Water, Aquafina, that's what I'm drinking. Palace Toga, I, where do they sell these? Uh, Coach, Coach, there's Coach Water, Dakota Splash, EcoQuest, Eureka, Evian, E Water, Fiji Water, Hogwash, Ice Jam, Ice Mountain. I'm just going through these because a lot of these names are just totally bizarre. Misty Mountain, Mountain Valley Spring Water, Rip Time. Who comes up with these names? Sure Fine, Sure Fine. <laughs> Sparklets, Smart Water, T-Rex, Tweetsie, Whistler Water, Anyway, so there's some of the brands that don't have fluoride in them. I'm gonna try for a week and see if I feel like I'm a little bit more hydrated and maybe I'll post an update and I'll make fun of more of these names. There's quite a few awesome names like Cowboy Squeeze. I hate flies. No one will know about this. Uh, Say hello, Peanut. Do you like fluoride? <laughs> Anyways, that is all.